So saving is hard. Most people struggle with it, which is why it's so private. You can't tell how much someone is saving until they deal with adversity. Otherwise, their saving habits are completely hidden. But most people, not just poor people, struggle with saving. Most people don't even think they can because they don't make enough or their bills are too high or every time they try, something comes up. Life happens. And some just keep it a bean and say that they got a spending problem. They can't stop buying Jordans or baby clothes or whatever it is they want to buy. The most important thing to remember is that generally everyone can save because saving is a habit. It's not a dollar amount. It's not about how much you save. It's about the act of doing it. Your dollar amounts will increase when your ability does. Until then, it's important to practice and build the habit. It's like smoking or working out or getting up early. Once you do it a certain amount of times, you build muscle memory and it begins to feel weird not to do it. If you're used to going to the gym, it feels weird to miss a day or a week. You mentally feel that you missed it even if your body doesn't notice the difference. That's because of the habit and that's how savings works. So because of this, the easiest way to begin building a habit is to start small. Staying with our working out analogy, if you go to the gym and try to lift 500 pounds, you'll probably hurt yourself. And that's because most of you just aren't strapping husky mammoth human beings like myself. These bulging biceps and chest muscles are just not common. Most people aren't this big is what I'm trying to get at. Most of you are little like the rock. So when you're that small, you got to start out small with the weights. Start with 10 pounds. And if you're good, then bump it up to 20. And if you're good there, then bump it up to 30. But it's important to build confidence at every level because your ability to lift 30 is only because you know that you can lift 10 and lift 20. Knowing that gives you the mental confidence to lift the 30 even if your body hasn't done it before. And if by chance you move up to 40 and you can't lift it, you'll just return to lifting 30 because you know you've done it before. The problem with starting out too high is that you hurt yourself and your confidence when you don't succeed. And then it's hard to figure out where do you begin again. So most people tell a story about saving and it goes, I tried to take $100 out of each check and put it to the side, but then something would always happen and I would have to go into my savings account before my next check. This is just like lifting weights. Start out small. Take $10 out of each check. And I know y'all like, Kev, I can save $10 fucking dollars. What is that going to do? Then prove it. Do it for a couple of checks. And if it works, then bump it up to 20 and then 30 and then so on. Because whenever it becomes too much, you would have built confidence at the lower level so that your savings won't stop. It may reduce, but it won't stop. Even saving $5 is important if you've never saved anything before. So just try it. A technique that's much maligned but effective is pay yourself first. Most people have heard of this one before and they can tell you that it doesn't help if you're not bringing in enough money. And that's often because we aren't thinking of ourselves the same way we think about businesses. Businesses always pay themselves first and then they convince us to pay them first too. So with the business they say revenue, the amount of money that they made, minus expenses, the cost of making money, equals profit. How much they get to keep. For us it's more like my check minus my bills equals my savings. So here's what businesses really do. They reverse profit and expenses and say that revenue minus profit equals what they're willing to pay for expenses. And if the expenses are too much, then they cut hours or lay people off, but they never sacrifice their profit. That's what they're in business to make. So for us, we got to reverse our savings and our bills so that it says my check minus my savings equals what I'm willing to give the bill collectors this month. And while most people don't think that they have the same leverage as businesses, the reality is you leverage them all the time. If you ain't got it, you ain't got it. But are you willing to finesse the bills like you ain't got it, even when you got some of it put to the side? You should, because the business that provides your services are still just businesses that pay themselves first. Don't believe me? Consider this. If you pay Verizon first and then life happens and your car breaks down, can you call Verizon and just tell them that you had an emergency so they'll send you some of that money back and you'll just pay them back later? I'll wait. No, right? Well, if you paid you first, would you take care of yourself if you had an emergency? Yeah. You have to have your back, even if no one else does. Having a savings account prevents emergencies from becoming catastrophes, from a small shit turd of a day into becoming a whole shit show. So before you begin working on your budget, you have to ask yourself the W's and that H. First, you have to consider where you're going to get the money from you want to save. 
And what do you currently do that you can pull back on enough to give yourself an extra $5 a week? Because that's all it's going to take to get the full match, $20 a month. When are you going to make the deposit? Payday, right? Well, when's that? And how will you make the deposit? Will you transfer it in? Will you go to the ATM? Whatever you choose, just make it part of your savings plan and use that to hold yourself accountable. And look, do what you got to do. Set an alarm in your phone. Tell a homie to remind you. Partner up with someone else who's saving so y'all could do it together. Tell your kids you're playing. You know kids don't forget shit. They'll keep you on point. Do whatever works for you. Just remember, saving is hard. But honestly, we done been through much harder shit than this. Let's get it.